Thank you for joining the World of Warships Legends. This is Crazy Man. Today we're playing with the legendary destroyer de Holland. That being said, I don't promise high damage. I don't promise I'm gonna win. I just promise I'm gonna do my best. That being said, I did take Perceptive off for a fast reload. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of these ships. But that's me. Because um, I don't like them doesn't mean you're not. You're gonna, Some people love these ships. Um, I'm just not a fan of them. And uh, anyways, I have built this ship for more of a uh, torpedo run. And uh, yeah, there's first victim right there. I don't want to be his first victim. So. I got three. Oh. Yeah, this is not going to end well. And add into the game, I will go over to Commander Belt. And this is why things go south. I am going to get killed because of this son of a bitch. He's got me to the point where I'm going to end up dead. I took some damage. I didn't want that, but I, it did happen. I'm not going to say it was all his fault, part of it was mine. I'm shocked I'm alive right now, but... I'm not really for sure where the both DDs are. Like I said, I don't got Perceptive on, so uh, 
I am going for A now. Because at least the two cruisers are gone. Engine boost deactivated. And that's where I wanted. Another torpedo hit. I don't got very good concealment, so that's a, a bad choice right now. And he, he's just going away, you know. And one more thing, excuse me for my language I used just a few minutes ago. I was sure I was gonna bite the bullet. I'm getting a little gutsy, but still not close enough. He's pretty much gone. But I'm detected. Engine boost 
activated. All right, we won the game. Um, like I said, excuse me for my language. Kind of got a little pissed off there. Anyways, we finished. A total damage, 101,666. Total damage. Uh, targets hit, 8. Torpedoes hit, 5. Destroy, 2. Set fires, 4 floods. Five defense, one solo capture, and detected three with a liquid nader metal. Uh, number one on the leaderboard. Um, made 78,651 currency, and uh, yeah. Uh, we'll go over the commander and the belts I'm using and the reasons. I'm using, I'm not even going to say this guy's name. Stig Hanson. Okay. Inspiration, Eric Bay. And Space Fishy for faster torpedo speed. His base trait. And trust me, the. I'll show you the both commanders you got for this. You got this guy or Jersey Swirsky. And uh, I'll show you. Anyways, you see what I got? Definitely this. And with this build, with this commander, you do get more damage out of uh, torpedo hits. Which is a plus. And then you got this. And there you go. He is rank 16 in Legends 3. Now we'll go over the belt. Upgrades. I'm using aiming system mod 1. Steering gear mod 2. Concealment system mod 1. And of course... Torpedo Launchers Mod 3. You look at the loadout. And let's go to specifics. Now, I'm going to show you the other commander built, and there's a reason. There's pros and cons to both of these commanders. This is a negative point, but I'll show you uh, Jersey Swirsky here in a moment. And this is why I went for Torpedo Mod 3. Uh, you already got a fast reload on these guns. Um, I want to put something where it's going to benefit me a little bit better. Your Torpedo. And it's 93 because of uh, Space Fish. But if you look at the reload time, I got it down to 63 seconds. The damage to these torpedoes, because of this commander, is 11,540. Poor tor torpedo. That is actually good when you see where it's at with Jersey Swirsky. And your AAs. You got a really decent amount of AAs. So you're actually going to be pretty good. I mean, you could do an AA build with this ship if you want, and you'd be all right. They're pretty decent right now. Maneuverability. Not too shabby. Actually, pretty decent. And then your concealment. 
5.3. Now, let's swap out the commanders real quick. And he's got Eric Bay and Albert Gleaves for range, torpedo range. And you can see what I have. And he's maxed right out, so is Eric Bay. These both, so there's a lot of these two. A lot of consumer. Very good consumer. But not for this ship. And uh, let's go over here and let's go here. Like I said, here's the pro. Well, let's see. Anything different? Nope. These are the pros. This has got more. The other one has 17,000 hit points. It's got 19,200. And over here, you look, you got your reloads down to two seconds. Your torpedo, you got almost 60 kilometers, speed 90 knots. Damage is 10,700. Not too shabby, but your reload time is only 85 seconds. And pretty much everything else is still the same. Uh, except for concealment, it's 5.2. So, that being said, my final thoughts of the ship, even though I don't like it, it's pretty good. It handles pretty decent. Um, but, like I said, it's not my kind of destroyer I like to play. You might like it. That's great. You know, I have nothing against that. Everybody has their own likes and dislikes. And I know a lot of people like these ships and, you know, more power to them. They do very well with them. Trust me, I've seen them. Uh, I've seen them get crackets with the Highland. I can see them get crackets with a lot of these ones. Um, yeah, for me, I, I like the more, I think if it had smoke, I might like it more. You know, because I could actually do something, but... And for what it is, it does get the job done. I did do pretty good. I was number one on the leaderboard, like you've seen. Um, I'm just not a fan of them. Uh, let me rephrase this. I don't hate them. I'm just not a fan of them. How's that? Uh, but you might like them. And if you do, great. Like I said, I've seen people do wonders with these ships. Um, I'm, it's hard to explain, but yeah, but yeah, it wasn't too shabby of a ship. You know, that was my first time playing online. I played with AI, so I don't even show it, you know, two games in AIs. Um, then here's my first game. I only played one battle with it, online, multiplayer, and uh, you see there are results. That's pretty good, you know. But, anyways, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button. What do you feel and how what do you think about the Howling? And uh, leave comments down below on it and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next video which I have no clue what it's going to be about or when. But I'm going to try to get something up in the next few days. Anyways, until then, peace out.